Our Lord in heaven, thank you so much for this very day that you have given us the grace and the opportunity to be in your presence. Thank you for what you have for us this morning. We humble ourselves before you, praying that, Lord, you prepare our hearts, our mind, our soul, and our understanding. Give us a reminder ears once again to hear your voice clearly, understand you very clearly, equip us to live by your word. We come against all things that may disrupt us from, from, from hearing and understanding your word. And we pray that your presence will fall throughout the service. At the end of it, Lord, we give all glory and honor unto you. Spirit of the living God, descend in your fullness and take control of the service from even now to the end of it. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. <laughs> Beloved, thank you for coming this morning to join us in this service. We pray that the Lord himself will speak to you. Our theme for this morning is love one another. Love one another. Mondo do moho moho. I know any embotai and ne anapia ye kahuasam. Love one another. My dear ones, to talk about love. Love is as strong as death. It cannot be killed by time or disaster. And it cannot be bought for any price because it is freely given. Love is priceless. And even the richest king in the world cannot buy it. It is greatest of all human qualities. And it is an attribute of God himself. Love involves unselfish service to others. To show it gives an evidence that you care. Beloved, real love is an action, not a feeling. It can produce or it produces selfless, sacrificial giving. The greatest act of love is giving oneself for others. This can be done by serving others with no thoughts of receiving anything in return. We are to love each other as Jesus loved us. And he loved us enough to give us life for us. We may not have to die for someone, but there are other things we, or there are other ways we practice, or other ways to practice sacrificial love. And that is having time to listen to somebody, helping others, encouraging others, and giving to meet their needs and desires. So even as I speak this morning, I want you to think of someone in particular who needs this kind of love today from you. Give all the love you can and then try to give a little more. Yeah. Wound to me and cum a do, and I am me and to me and say or do, and I am manigunu and to me and to tea or domu or do away or do away wound to me and talk as I say what the maqua or do a nibuo na usi kenya or what we are singing now was cutting we are singing now. 
ano himponga ana president of sumbo che obi a wo wiase hampo on to me and to odo odo a sumbo che wiase ade ejina na eyo nyamisu ankasa Make her or die with ya or don't like a brony will say a action and ya tinker never more or die with one among the Ujuma or don't a young farmer or don't a idea would do a buff for real Emma won't share crying so when you be a fee at she. And as a was mobia, wo ya dia mobia, won't shock ones or no spare be a si a nemo a de amount. Bible say yen do 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 yon send you ra yesu a do yen do yen am body call womu emma yen meneo yen to me in wu emu be per se. Now so near me boy between I yam one money panels when you get a year pay. And on the same, they are so it's here one. One how no money, you know. You bet to me, I bought one or quite a little bit of a sore. And you know, no, okay. Then we'll say, they sell one crying. None of you will hear. You'll be a warning, but so no, you're to me, a year at the wall. They are saying, this and I said, why? And I will hear some more if you won't change any day. Then, oh. Na se wo wo so bi wa won tri mu a wo wo kokwanga o betu ndi abuana ye na ye famo nyami e di onyam ehye wo sha roman fo ho menu a o se ye ndu do do ye ho enye no keke o se odo wo we a car, a daho, a chain, a sassy cheer. Love is called debt. If you should read the Romans chapter 13, verse 8, it is very clear there. The love is a debt we owe others. Let me quickly read that. Romans 13, verse 8, it says that. Let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another for whoever loves others has fulfilled the law. Let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another is a debt to love one another. That is what the Bible is saying. So you ask yourself, why is it called debt? The reason being that we are permanently in debt to Christ for the lavish love he has poured out on us. You know the kind of love Jesus poured for us? That he even went to the cross, that shameful death. He died for you and I. And for that reason, we owe him that debt. And we can only pay by serving others and expressing same love to other people. The only way we can even begin to repay this debt is by loving others in turn. Now, because Christ's love will always be infinitely greater than ours, we will always have the obligation to love our neighbors. It is an obligation. And we must fulfill it. And that obligation is to love one another. Somehow many of us have forgotten or have gotten the idea that self-love is wrong. But if there were, but if this were the case, it would be pointless to love our neighbors as our source. But Paul explains what he means by self-love. Yes, self-love is this. We should love ourselves well. Because the Bible says 
we should love our neighbor as we love ourselves and therefore we should love ourselves if you are even so low self-esteem you will not willingly let yourself go angry yes we can go angry if we want to fast and wait before the lord but nobody is willing to go hungry when this idea or this aim is not before him so if you have the means you eat you don't go hungry if you have the means you clothe yourselves well if you have the means you get shelter for your head if you can you don't allow yourself to be cheated by others and even in your own marriage you get angry if someone tried to destroy your marriage that is self love and this is the kind of love we need to have for our neighbors so the question comes again do we see that others are fed that they are clothed and housed as well as they can are we concerned about issues of social justice loving others as ourselves means to be actively working to see that others needs are met niami ka go sine se wo ka roman fo ma o se ye de odo ho ka ye de odo ho ka Nienti o kana sa na se Yesu do do ye no esun bo to the extent se o di o kwa se bia so wo e wo ni mgu ase e wo di mai na se nti o kwa ye be fast with me dia tu aka na se Yesu ye be do afofro na se na se Yesu do no do ye no esun bo to the extent se ye ntumi ti a o ka nti ade tenia de se bia ra no e ya se de se ye do afofro I do be a ye ye fi e una e susu se en se se ye do ye an kasa ye ho na so guys the bible no se ye ndo ye nuanom te se ye an kasa ye ho e di ye ndo ye ho a e be ye den ni adrafofro te se ye ho bi jebi di se se nya o chire bi na ba o sua wo re mpe se kom be do de se bi o pe so di ye futu o na oni o nya mi di nkata ho nya nkata ho ana oni o nya mi di nkomo me give me the say who was sicana o be person o be see see o ye na o be nya baby pa e di wuti ato me give me the pan so say worin person o be cause o be sorry ti awa ware no asai wa ware a wo be funu e so an say wo do wo ho na so do yi e na ye person ye nzu ye di do afofro o be could dey come the now Get me boss on us when you be ready. We be near to the edge. No need be a bit da. So you are doing now. So on us when you be doing the thing at so Anna. My boss say, "I fall for that day. Any young son that day. When I was soon, you knew I was soon. Now when I was in jail, no more so. You knew I was in your side and need you no." Beloved Christians must obey the law of love which supersedes both religious and civil laws and how is it is to excuse our indifferences to others merely because we have no legal obligations to them or to help them and even to justify harming them if our actions are technically legal But Jesus that not want that not leave loopholes in the law of love whenever love demands it we are to go beyond human legal requirements and imitate the god of love and so it is our responsibility to express love to others to give them the needed help whether 
humanly it is not possible spiritually it is possible what well, god demands that we do that from what we read in matthew jesus gave us guidelines for dealing with those who sin against us and that is even if we are loving them and they should sin against us what should we do and this are spelled out in matthew 18 15 to 17. let me read it matthew chapter 18 verse 15 to 20. it says if your brother or sister sins Go and point out to their faults, just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. But if they will not listen, take one or two others along, so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If they so refuse to listen, tell it to the church and if they refuse to listen even to the church treat them as you will a pagan or a tax collector truly i tell you whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven again truly i tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for it will be done for them by my father in heaven for where two or three are gathered in my name there i am with them and this is what is meant by that the reading we just read it is meant for christians and not unbelievers it is meant for sins committed against you and not others if someone should sin against you, you should approach the person and not the person coming to beg you. It is meant for conflict resolution in the context of the church, not the community at large. Beloved, Jesus' words are not a license for a frontal attack on every person who hurts or slights us. They are not a license to start a destructive gossip or to call for a church trial. They are designed to reconcile those who disagree so that all Christians can live in harmony. When someone wrongs us, we often do the opposite of what Jesus recommends. We turn away in hatred or resentment, seeking revenge or engage in gossip. By contrast, Bible says we should go to that person first, as difficult as that may be. Then we should forgive that person as often as he or she needs it. Read Romans 8, Matthew 18, 21, 22. Where Peter was asking, how many times if a brother sins against me that I should forgive him? It's 70 times 7. Meaning, endlessly, we should always try and forgive those who have sinned against us. This will create a much better chance of restoring the relationship. I was just showing you a sum now. Matthew 18, 15 to 17. A daddy said, Oh, Yami, I know where you are. My acquired by fast work. Oh, be your bonnet. I am not even fast for a CC and Tim. Now, since I'm a king, I will hold the man a Christo for a new one. I won't name Christo. I will hold my one. I will move up for my young. Niawaya Bonia Fum, I at CIA no Yen necessary a call, a copper quire faso, a CC, and one more and ten. 
and your kwang on yame fasu, ne jidi fu e fasu, edi siensi won tem, so how ni ama niye bi ba, and ye yase fu o edia. Your person of China said, Or Quanga or Faso, none down Tower be a buy and terminal when you are me Faso, as yes, you know, I can't and I boom, I am back on you. Now, I also have a woman say, Obi for me and I, your person, ye be a Tianaka. Obi for me and I, no, ye move for your poor Quanga Faso, yes, you may be at the Etiano. Now, so right, yes, you say, Maya and Yana, sir. The more ye and poor quiet of us with the eternal. In Predudru, I may hear say, Ye be a full fro and from swore a chill. Beloved in the Lord, this binding and loosening refers to the decisions of the church in conflicts. Among believers, there is no court of appeal beyond the church. Ideally, the church's decisions should be God guided. And based on discernment of his word. Believers have the responsibility and therefore to bring their problems to the church. And the church also has a responsibility to use God's guidance in seeking to resolve conflicts. Handling problems God's way will have an impact now and for eternity. Nyame kan se O se nyae be tetre wa asasi so no wo be tetre no so na nyebe sane no so wo be sane wo so nya se mi person ka che nyae ni se inta wan ta wan ba ye ntam ni atras se yesu yesu na nya ye ye be gi atum se no ne no kwara no eno no nyame be pene so e wo so Christoph one term no ye ni court of appeal obi di wasam na nya oda wo di ko be bi fufuro entire hia se wo yonko ya oboni na wo ka na nya ya fabre asafo no na asafo no fo nya mi asam ensiesi asam no ma enwe peye kai se ejiri fuo ye na se die emese o how ba ye ntema ye fan ko dwe wi ase court Nemu ni adwe ba asafo no mu na asafo no ape kwan si si no asafo no nso wa sede ese ensem na ba wo dina onyame akwan chere en na asem so best solution to the problem na se si si ye ntem nsem send onyame pena onyame nso agitum e wo so so ho to conclude my message, beloved. For this reason, let us do all within our means to live in love, peace, and harmony with each other. For that is how God wants us to be. This is very important because it makes the church a positive example to the world and helps draw others to us. If we should live in harmony, if we should live in love, loving each other, we become example to the world how they should also love it in love each other and live in harmony and in unity. It helps us to cooperate as a body of believers. As God meant us to be, giving us the foretaste of heaven. It renews and revitalizes ministry because there is no less tension or there is less tension to sap our energy. Beloved, living in unity does not mean that we will agree on everything. There will be many opinions just as there are many notes in a musical chord. But we must agree on our purpose in life. And the purpose is to work together for God. Our outward expression of unity and love 
will reflect our inward unity of purpose. Beloved, brotherly unity, like the anointing oil, shows that we are dedicated to serving God wholeheartedly. Normally, people are anointed to dedicate them for the Lord. And therefore, if we also unite ourselves together and love each other, it also indicates that we are serving God wholeheartedly. I was here, Madam Asam no be here. When I say, I put a agent as me say, you bet the dog do ye o ye o. In this or do you munan ta wanta we be ba o nyami amaya kwanga ye fast look at your CC and temp. Ne saying ti. I was a boy, I won't more than say. Then your Bible no cano, a bet to me. Ye near for frunina and tenas was some day any be a coye. And your domo. In the young yen mea ya won't be in bed to mea ye, and your yamia won't conquer my quaint dress so, and bomb more than say, ye may have a fruit in our bed now or door as soon day, and it be a queen. A you here, a son, sir, a ma as a for no yen shall so pa, and maybe I say, now a boy, my yet to me a tree and four fro, a bassa for no more. Saint Cabo Mooney and Tom. Na or done in Tiasia and me and Toma, where you think so, bro, let me have a kaya home. Then we are to be yan a sad dear. A mouth of Ronzo Kong Dosset, or have a year a giddy four. A boy, my yet trans, sir, a giddy four, sir, or number called Senior Yame Panofa. And no boy, my year who send your sura sixna every year afa. A kayan she may my a one day soon go my to be the year on your mere juma as I said, I want to one year and tema a big he has said, I am why am I to be kaya umbum and your juma? Then we are trans your trans your donny be a quia moa. A my a one day, a my a one kaka, a my a one sepe, a my a nije, my yet to me the year juma no, send your son and father, and you will see how my kaya umbum. Umaya no dot do ya ho, nyambua mu nyamye chuma, en tumpong. En onzo chileza ye kaya humbo ma, ye beti ye mwase, ana ye bibi ya mekwa totoa, e chinyeje embe mu. Nye ti biara se ye ni paendiye, ntawanta wabeba, e chinyeje beba, seni ya ufa senku, na obonyo ma, e ye no sa hurbe bri, ena ye kekebo mu. And son and Yumno et me a day. It didn't want to win in Ababa. Now, so you're for Yamia Quansua, a human be two pong, I saw Yamia no yam. Mamaya and Kaya Umbum, sir, a giddy foo, I was so good, young coupon. Nema a ye dead dear, a dear dance, yes, sir. Ye moon, ya dear, wouldn't you know? I'm on Yamibo tie and a digma in Ponsu. Because it was strong, oh, and it's yes, your ma and your mere juma. And the year back, oh, now you do your way. A dear dance, yes, 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 and just any band by power, so the Muan Cassachin Bengal. Now, Bomodins will be seized on an interm. Now, soon Yaba Muntum, now when Yamia Juma at Tumpo, Yamin come and no, no shy and day. You do it dot doyo, said an ass of much laying on when Yamia Joba, and on Congro, it being casting in tea. Amen. Made off of my young order, my young order, my young order. Senior watch saying, and I pay the intimate one kind of um boom, one sum and pay your wedding no so. Grant us love, Lord. Grant us love, Lord. Grant us love, my Father, so that we'll be united in serving you the way you intend us 
to serve you. Thank you, faithful Father, for your word. And thank you for empowering us to apply them to our daily life. We are grateful and thankful to you in Jesus' name. Amen. So may I ask then, whom do you believe in? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His Holy Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence He shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Dear ones, our COVID issue is there. And I'll continue to plead with you. Let's abide by the protocols and continue mm -hmm. praying. Gradually, it is leaving the system. Today, when you look at the statistics, it's far, far, far better than we started, meaning God is at work. And therefore, let us patiently continue to abide by the protocols and continue in fervent prayers. And I know for sure, in no time, this also, like the president says, shall pass away. Again, we are in election year. I pray that we will all do within our means to help have a peaceful and a successful, transparent election. Don't allow anybody to engage you in things that will bring confusion and disruption in our country. The only nation we have, we have nowhere to go. This is what God has given to us. Let us protect and defend it. Let us do the right thing. And seek God's face to give us the rightful people to lead the land. I pray as you play, you pray, you will also do what is expected of you. That will always enjoy the peace that we have, the glory of our Father in heaven. Let us pray and receive the benediction. Father, we are grateful. As we begin a new week, I pray that your grace will sail us all through peacefully and successfully. Open doors unto all of us and grant us our heart desires, even in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Beloved, may that we God Himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you.